G'day. It was suggested by friends that this part I'm making could be made four at a time. Let's see what I managed to achieve. Here's a drawing of the inside of the part so you can see what's in there. It's hard to see once we start making it. Here's my raw material, nine meters of 32 diameter Delrin. I had to chop it in half using a, a wood, wood saw because the meter is too long to go in my center lathe. The suppliers wanted $2 a cut, 300 parts, that would have made $600. That was never going to work. So I'm parting them off in the center lathe at 1500 RPM, which is the top speed for this lathe. And it takes forever to slow down brake would be really nice. All I'm doing is moving the parting tool back and forth between uh, stops that I've set up on the bed. So it, it's not that bad but I'd really not rather not do it 300 times if I can avoid it. There's the carriage stops you can see either end of the carriage and I set the DRO so that I had a zero at one end so if anything moved I could tell. Here's the first part I made. Using a slot drill as a boring bar. There's the parting tool with no tool change. This machine has a turret but I'm not using it. That rapid scored across the OD of the part. So that needs changing too, as well as the facing. Decided to face first. It wasn't that good. So I went back to using the slot drill first. That's after this one. Now that there, that, that crash occurred because I didn't take the parting tool to the stock diameter plus 10 in the Z. If I had that wouldn't have happened. Glad I wasn't turning steel. This is making a part when I've got the program sort of to my satisfaction. but I'd rather not make them like this 300 times. And this is what happens when you drop a part off. You've just produced a piece of scrap. Okay, here we are. Enough material hanging out of the chuck to make three. So let's see what happens. Face is okay. And does those grooves okay? but it doesn't like this much at all. So that's not going to work. So there's the chatter and another piece of scrap. So I decided to have a think and came up with another way of doing it. And this is what I did. I used the turning tool to start with, which was a 35 degree aluminium turning tool, very sharp, quite pointy, no chatter whatsoever. Used it to turn the whole of the piece of stock, and then one tool change, and we don't do any more tool changes for the next three parts. And it worked quite well. That's how I did the job. Put the chamfer on there and face up the end, a couple of grooves, 
and then do the chamfer and part it off. By increasing the parting feed to 0.2, um, it stopped um, it stopped the swarf from creating damage to the face of the part. At less than that, it was actually um, swarf was jamming up in the groove and damaging the face of the part that shouldn't have been damaged. So there we go. That's how I ended up doing them, three parts at a time. 100 parts in the um, center lathe. There's the inside. And there's the finished part. And thank you for watching.